Welcome back to the Comic Book ASM Artist. Today we're going to be doing another comic book haul. And uh, this video will feature more intermittent sounds within it, just to uh, kind of break it up a little bit. It's been a while since I had a lot of the tapping and things like that and the crinkling of the bags mixed in with the, um, the haul. So we're going to do that and just show off some books together, okay? First off, we have the Swamp Thing Winter Special. This was actually supposed to come out last month and it got delayed. And uh, we've got, uh, there's a new story in here and then there's a reprint in here. Uh, the, the new story is by Tom King with art by uh, Faybach. And I really like Faybach. I got introduced to him, I think it was in Detective Comics. And then he just kind of disappeared from the books I was reading, so... I had to get this, because this is a tribute to Len Wynn as well. He passed away uh, this year, and then the other co-creator of Swamp Thing, Bernie Wrightson, he passed away last year. Well, I guess technically Len Wynn passed away last year, and then Bernie Wrightson passed away two years ago. My head was still in 2017, so... But artwork is just beautiful. And then the reprint is a story by Len Wynn and Kelly Jones here. And it's reprinted without the dialogue, but then it shows the um, Len Wynn script in the back here. So it's the whole, the whole thing. I, I looked through, it's all 20 pages of it. So, it's just really great stuff, you know. And then it's got the little tribute they did to him in the back. As well as Wrightson's tribute here. I wish they would have featured more Wrightson art in this book too, but... It's okay, it's still a nice tribute, nonetheless. So, this is an $8 book. And I definitely recommend picking it up. Let's bang it up. I don't think this one will take a piece of cardboard either. It's a 80 page book, so I don't think I'm gonna put a backing in here. I might try though. There we go, it's working. There it is. Next 
Next we have Spawn, 282. And this bolsters the appearance of a brand new character who will have their own comic. I'm assuming it's going to be Spawn's daughter, just because the whole story is kind of revolved around her and her having abilities now too. Like I said, when I when I get these, uh, this is literally my first encounter with them as well. So I haven't read the insides of this yet, but just based upon the past arc here that's been going on, that's more or less his daughter's in Japan and experiencing supernatural things that she was trying to get away from by going to Japan. But I have been enjoying this arc. It's been something different. A lot of people, they like to complain that not having Todd on the book and this and that. Todd McFarlane hasn't been on Spawn in a long, long time. He did say one day he will work on it again. He might be waiting till issue 300 to do that. But I don't know. But I do enjoy the book. Just because it's really not like anything else I collect, you know? I read a lot of the safer books. If y'all have noticed that, I'm sure you have. But I did start to read Saga on my um, Tingles app channel for the people who are donating, supporting my efforts there. So if you go on the Tingles app, you can see that exclusive video. I read issue one. For those who have subscribed to me, it's a $5 monthly donation that will allow access to exclusive videos. And my first one was reading Saga number 1, and I will be reading more and doing other videos for that as well. Next we have Dark Knight's Metal number 5. And the event is almost over now. And then uh, my contest is still going on for my 100 mystery comics. So I will have a link to that video below. So you can check that out and uh, make sure to do all four. 
at the very least, make sure to comment because that's how I am um, counting the entries. And if you guys remember the um, part of the contest too, if we get to a thousand people to subscribe to the channel, then we will um, be able to do five bonus books signed by the uh, writers and artists of your choice attending the Emerald City Comic Con. And um, and if we don't meet that thousand before the show. I am still preemptively getting books signed that I purchased, so I have those on hand. So I will be getting signatures for when we do reach a thousand to do a giveaway. But if we get there before that, you know, there'll be five customized, meaning which artists you want, and the ones I'm getting will be ones that are pretty f fairly well known um, writers and illustrators. So. I am doing that because I do want to thank you guys when I reach a thousand and the best way to do that for me is to give you some signed books. So I hope we reach it before then. The uh, entries in by the 21st. But yeah, please just help me grow the channel so we can get there and continue to do cool things like that for you all. So we have the Detective Comics Annual. And it looks like this just kind of segues into the, um, the current Detective Comics book with Clayface character development there, so... Looks like they're doing some pretty heavy nods to the um, animated stuff here, it looks like. Which I like, because that's more or less the clay face I know. Now he goes by Basil Carlo. He is Matt Hagen in the animated series. But he was one of my favorite villains, even though he just had a couple episodes, you know. But the animated series was just kind of like that anyway. They had tremendous stories, you know. Even people like the Clock King, for instance, became a character I enjoyed. So they really just had a gift for for making great stories for that. But I definitely want to start reading more for you all. But I'm not sure if you want me to continue on reading what I was reading. Which was uh, Batman, Detective Comics, Superman, Action Comics, Nightwing, Ninja Turtles, Bone. And I think that was it. But I have been doing some random other books I've been reading. 
So let me know if you guys want to see more of those readings or uh, different things. There'll be books that I have here, so I could even do some of the newer ones if you want me to. My whole concern, though, is really making sure that um, the publishers get their sales. So I don't want to post brand new books, at least not on here. Just because I don't, I don't want the free stories going out there. You know, I think that the um, we need to support the industry as much as we can, and the best way to do that is to buy the books. You know, so even if I might get more views for reading a brand new book, I don't want to hinder those creators or those shops. So I'd rather hold off a month. But I might put them as exclusives first on the Tingles app. So that way they're gated where they're not free. But I don't know. So as I was saying before, the um, the number ones for these books, they have where they link up to create a poster on the other side. I think I have a damage in here still too. I got two copies. I got my second one out. Yeah. So, but the covers don't detach, so. So these covers are huge. But I did buy doubles so I could detach these ones to make that giant poster. Which I'm sure that, you know, the publishers are counting on, but that's okay. At least these were only, you know, $3 books instead of 4 or 5 or something. Also, too, only the first printings have the fold-out covers. So, this is the silencer. I don't know much about any of these guys. They're all brand new, more or less. I know, like, the Terrifics will have some familiar characters. But for the most part... These are all brand new ideas, so. But it looks okay. I think Dan Abnett is writing this. I know John Romita Jr. is drawing it, obviously. It's such a distinct style, you know. But I, I believe that's the case. I can't see that credits there but I think my favorite work that John Romita Jr. did though was Spider-Man I feel like he was kind of made to draw him his work's been okay elsewhere but I felt like it really shined on that book I think for like people who have their faces uncovered the whole time, that's where I kind of lose uh, the interest. I don't know. I I really didn't like the um the All Star Batman he did either. But there's just something about a Spider Man. It was perfect in my opinion. Maybe it's with all the lines on the suit or something. But it was great. And then I did get another one. Like I said, I put this, held it off. Since I didn't have a ton of funds the previous period. But I'll show it here again for those of you who missed it. But the artwork here is phenomenal.
So what books are you guys excited about? You can let me know down below. I know I've been watching your guys' hauls and things like that too. I know a lot of you guys seem to be excited about that Ice Cream Man book. And that artist, he did uh, two other books I really enjoyed. There's a Great Pacific, I want to say by Joe Harris and it's about like an island of garbage in the Pacific Ocean and then the other one I believe is Snowfall both feature his artwork so if you haven't read those I recommend them my second copy of Silencer. And I am working on my uh, 100 Days of Comics challenge where I draw my own comic book for a hundred days for 30 minutes each day. And I'm almost done with the full pencils of the project. And I'll be moving on to inking soon. I do want to show you all the process, but I'm really critical of myself. So the first stage, the penciling, is always the hardest because that typically takes, you know, longer than the, um, the 30 minutes. So those videos would be kind of hard to, to record and edit down. And I try to make sure it's quiet when I record, because, you know, there is the ASMR aspect to all this. So, and that would make setting aside the time for that even harder, because... There are days where I will do it earlier or later when the house is active. Also, too, I went back to get this because I didn't know that this was a cover they had. I already got this book, but 11, and I had 12. And then I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, they connect? So when they do that, and especially this artist, I really like his stuff. So, I had to go back and get that other cover. And I'll show the art in this again as well. This is a really interesting story. Next is the Ninja Turtles universe, number 19. Beautiful cover on there. In this book, more or less acts as a, um, like, bonus stories that kind of feed into the, um, the ongoing monthly book. Yeah, it's crazy, even though there's only been, I guess, around 80 Turtles books now. There, there's been twice as many, if you count all of the specials and other books. It's, it's more or less a bi-monthly if you put the universe books in there. 
And then they have like the the meetup books. Like the Ghostbusters meet the turtles or the Batman one. So stuff like that. So then it's like, oh, that's three times. But I really like the Ninja Turtles, so. And the comic is easily my favorite outlet of of continuing my my love of the characters. I have seen that iteration for uh, the new turtles for the cartoon coming out. I'm not a fan of it, but I've more or less made my mind up that this is for the littler kids, this turtles cartoon coming out, so this is going to be for them, not really for us older guys. They could have Easter eggs in it, though, hopefully. But the style of it really harkens to the uh, the new Michael Bay Ninja Turtles. I mean, even if you look at Splinter and stuff, he does not look like the traditional version of him. He's, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, if they want to take a different direction, it will be uh, to rejuvenate it for a different group. And then there's shakeups like Raph is the leader instead of Leo, and Leo is the quote unquote self proclaimed cool brother. Leo is voiced by the guy who plays Jean Ralphio on Parks and Rec, and I really didn't like that character, so. So this continues the uh, Super Friends arc. I'm looking forward to the next arc because Mikkel Yannon will be back on the book. I believe that's what I read anyway. I do want to thank you all for tuning in and relaxing with me here. It's easily the one of the highlights of my week is being able to show off my books and talk to you all. Next we have Batman White Knight, number five. So it's been really good. Like I said, I really don't want to spoil stuff for you on my channel. So it's hard for me to grow into great detail, really, on any of these books. But for the most part, you know, when I buy them, I'm more or less saying I'm approving of the stories that are written. Or the art style, or one or the, or one or the other, or both, you know. That is more or less the best practice. Vote with your wallet, you know, let the let the publishers know what they're doing right. And you know, if they see those sales dip, hopefully they understand that something needs to be looked at when creating the next arc or 
whatever the case may be. Next we have Nightwing number 38. Really like this cover. Really been enjoying the art in this one too. But I really enjoy the, the brightness of the book. You don't get to see neons like this in a Batman book typically, you know. So it's really nice to be able to see that, you know, a bad book, bad family book have such a bright color palette. Been surprised there's even some more people who are have been secretly coming to Emerald City who have not been reflected on the website or the app. I know Matt Kint just uh, confirmed on this Facebook page that he will be at the convention. He usually comes every year. He, I think he does really well. He's got a lot of fans in the area. Oddly enough, I still don't have a book signed by him. Because uh, the things he writes typically are not uh, monthly books that I collect. So... But I know he's supposed to be a, a good writer, and I'm sure he is. So maybe I'll get something this time for him to sign. This is Superman number 40. And it is my last book in my box. So we do have the uh, the Bendis shakeup will be happening here soon. Starting with Action Comics number one thousand, he will do a ten page story. And then he'll be he'll be taking over duties on both Superman titles. And then they will even have I think a five part mini series called Man of Steel. So we'll see how that goes. I really enjoyed his Daredevil run, but other than that, I haven't really read much Bendis. I read a little bit of his new X-Men, or all new X-Men, rather. And I mean, it started off okay, but, you know. But I really think his best stuff was that Daredevil he had done. But I hear his crime books he used to work on were really great. I haven't read any of them, though. All right, that's going to do it for my books here. I will make some more noises for those of you who enjoy that. There will be tapping and crinkling and different noises. But for those of you who just came to the books, that's it for those. I encourage you to uh, click the link for the uh, contest below. Enter that, 100 mystery books, and uh, they're going to be random ones from the comic shop that they they bundle together, so I have no clue what they are. Um, they're going to be ones that are in okay shape. They're not going to be like 9.8, but 
They'll be good. The covers won't be falling off of them or anything. I might even bag and board the comics as well because I want to make sure they get shipped to you all in a way that, you know, you would want to receive them, not just thrown in a box. I don't want to do that, you know. So I don't know how many more I'll be able to do contests like that, but just figured it would be a, a cool milestone to acknowledge, especially those of you who who subscribed here early to me to let you let me show my appreciation for you so but if you reach a thousand then we'll get those five custom books signed by your favorite writers and artists at the con but uh, if we don't make it quite to that i am getting books signed that i think you all will enjoy by some of the big names who are at the convention so but now I'm going to move on to some noises for those of you who are here to relax. And then I encourage you to go over to Tingle's app and uh, check out what I've got over there. And, you know, if you want to support me, that's great. And then I do have the exclusive Saga video on there. And I'll be doing more readings of those and other videos. I want to make more content for you all. And just want to thank you so much for your support and yeah so that's pretty much it and I do want to do more readings if you let me know below what type of readings you want to see me do here on this channel let me know and I'll see what I can do thanks
Alright, you guys have a good day or a good night. Thank you.